What's up guys? Welcome back to PC Bureau channel. This is Leslie. This is Scarlett. Today we are going to talk about 3D printing. Scarlett, if you have printer and forget about limit, what would you want to print? I will go with cash because you know it's never too much money. I got you. It's always a pleasure to dream about it. But I know 3D printer can make a lot of great and useful things. Yes, yeah, 3D printing is widely used in various industries, especially in the electronic engineering. And I know that lots of PCB wells have already experienced with this technology. Exactly. Let's explore on this and start today's video. Like what we always do, we prepare special gifts for our viewers. So keep watching and you may get those goodies. Let's get started. Besides printer, 3D printing materials are a great essential. They are used according to different technology employed. FDM, also known as Fused Deposition Modeling, is one of the most widely used 3D printing technology. It uses a moving nozzle to extrude a fiber of material, and the model is built layer by layer. So in this case, what are the major materials used in the FDM? We'd love to introduce PLA and ABS, those two are the most widely used ones, and we can make comparison between those two materials. Sounds great! Both ABS and PLA are thermoplastic, which means they follow the process of heating into a soft moldable state and then turning into solid when cooled. ABS is commonly used in molding industry, and if you are a fan of LEGO, you know LEGO use ABS for their products. While PLA, derived from the renewable resources such as cornstarch or sugarcane, in addition, if you are sensitive to scent, you might like these materials because it gives off a sweet aroma. So which material has better strength? This is important when consider the functionality of the printed parts. Yes, according to Simplify 3D, PLA has better ultimate strength compared to ABS. However, with the overall consideration of the impacts from the water, heat, UV, and chemical resistance, ABS wins for better durability. It's safe to conclude that PLA is a more suitable material for hobbyists because it's easy to use for printing and it's care for detail. ABS is useful for more functional applications where durability and stability are required. That's correct. PLA is ideal where aesthetics matters, while ABS is more practical for daily use. Let's review some projects by our PCB wares using those two materials. Sure, MKB Lab made a small stir and shake table for liquid and solutions use 3D printing. Most of the parts are made by 3D printer, and he only need to purchase some bolts. In this project, he used PLA as the printing materials. The layer heat is 0.2 mm, and it is printed at 210 degrees. The finished shaker is very delicate and works just fine, useful for lab experiment. One of the cool thing about using 3D printing technology for a project is that you use the exact amount of material you need to build your stuff. Yes, this is very efficient because you don't have any waste. 3D printing is not only useful in making lab tools, it is also ideal for making cases and outer components for electronic devices. Join planes RC DIY one rear bike light system and he used 3D printing to make a case for the lighting and a mounting system for the lighting that can be attached to the bike. Yeah, it's very common and it's become more popular to use 3D printing to make the case. For example, Arduchronic had an awesome project of making stair lighting at his home and he used 3D printing to make the case for the LEDs. Out of the house, Open Green Energy used the PLA material to print the case for the solar-powered weather station he built. It looks amazing! We can see that the printing part has a neat looking and very accurate for the electronic part of the project. Yeah, that's right. That's another advantage of 3D printing technology, accuracy. For engineers and the DIY lovers, maybe they all need the spool holders, 
our piece of beware Harry printed his own. Different from other projects we discussed earlier, he used ABS because it's tougher and suitable for various environment conditions. Scarlet, 3D printing is so useful for DIY lovers, but it seems too expensive to own one of those machines. So are there any affordable options? Of course, I want to introduce an open source project, LEED 3D PS1, which is a resin micro 3D printer with MSLA technology, the first of its kind based entirely on an Arduino board. So how does this printer work with MSLA technology? The MSLA works by projecting a light from UV LEDs through a LCD screen to mask areas where the resin should not be solidified. In addition, this 3D printer stands out for its simplicity and absence of noise. It comes in an easy-to-assemble kit format, offering an enriching and educative experience for its users. I see, I can feel that it will be a good tryout for DIY lovers. I know another affordable way is to build your own 3D printer. Exactly. Espacio de Cesar used recycled parts from an own printer to make a new 3D printer. He built two rectangles for the processing stepper motors. They are of course reactions and a board for printing. That is a lot of hard work. Yes, indeed. Our PCBWare Sean made us SLA 3D printer that is also a Christmas ornament, perfect for your Christmas tree. If you think it's too pricey to buy a printer and materials, or too much work and effort to build your own printer, now PCBWA has just launched a 3D printing service. Yes, worth mentioning in today's video. For 3D printing, we own the most cutting-edge technologies including FDM, SLS, SLA, SLM, DLP, and vacuum casting which meet customers various needs and bring your design to life in a short time frame. Visit our website and learn more about this new service. Now every 3D printing order will enjoy 10% discount. Hey guys, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoy this video and learn something about 3D printing. We'd love to know if you have a printer, what would you want to print? And tell us in the comments below where to choose 3 lucky guys to send 2,000 pizza beans into your account. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and hit the subscribe button if you are new here so you won't miss out the good videos. Go for innovation! We will count for implementation. Bye-bye!